Today we're talking about the Mark III chest rig, which was sent to me a couple of months ago by NF Strike. Uh, this is a chest rig that I have been using quite a bit actually on the field, and I think I'm finally ready to give you a solid opinion on it. Although I have noticed that we've been putting out a lot of uh, product reviews over here at Interlink HQ, and so I wanna kinda broaden the scope of what we're talking about. The broader conversation today is about how my opinion on chest rigs on the airsoft field has kind of changed and how I think I'm starting to prefer them over pleat carriers like what I'm wearing right now. I came up with three main things that I had against chest rigs that I tried to challenge uh, by wearing it to multiple games and, and really using it the way that it was intended uh, to be used. Let's go through the features of the Mark III real quick so that you do have context for what we're talking about today. So this chest rig is highly minimalist, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Two suspenders go over your shoulders and one strap goes around your waist. Your main storage on the Mark III are these kangaroo pouches, and they're pretty interesting. They have uh, loop side Velcro on the inside, and they are compatible with the three different types of inserts that the chest rig comes with. The three inserts include a triple rifle magazine pouch, a four pistol or SMG magazine pouch, and a general zipper top so that you can convert one of those kangaroo pouches into uh, miscellaneous storage. The Mark III also has integrated double rifle magazine pouches sewn into either side. If you don't want to use those, you can fold them underneath like this and they will stay out of your way. The Mark III also includes a fanny pack or dangler pouch that is removable, and it just Velcros into the bottom section right there on the chest rig, and that really gives you a lot of extra storage to take anything else that you might need on the field that's not gonna fit in the other two pouches. So for about seven years, I have used the same plate carrier, this Condor MOPC. As you can tell, it's probably a little bit worse for wear now, but it's never broken on me. It is considerably larger than what the Mark III has to offer. The bias that I had against chest rigs was because they were smaller, I always felt that you couldn't carry as much stuff in them as you can with a plate carrier. Technically that's true with a plate carrier, you've got a lot more real estate to add pouches, uh, obviously hydration carriers, backpacks, they integrate very easily. Chest rigs, if you think about it, are really just a plate carrier without the method of carrying plates. <laughs> On the airsoft field, we don't actually need to wear armor plates, that's just an aesthetic option. So really the only thing that you're losing with a chest rig is extra weight. I was running this with the Fletcher Mark I, which we did a video about a couple of months ago. You can go and check that out, but it uses straight MP5 magazines. And this chest rig allowed me to carry all of my extra mags in reserve. If this carrier was completely kitted out, I could carry seven rifle magazines, four pistol or SMG magazines, and then anything else that I could fit into the dangler pouch down here. So probably two or three extra mags. That's a ton of ammo to take there on the field. Not to mention, you probably got extra room for extra BBs, speed reloaders. The one thing I did run into was that I didn't have a way to carry water. I would usually bring a 32 ounce water bottle with me and throw that in the backpack. A lot of these modern ones have buckles that allow you to clip it into a small backpack, like a mini map or something like that. Uh, so you can carry your water bottles with you and have that additional storage. Alternatively, there's a lot of companies out there that make generic pouches that'll allow you to store a 32 or a 16 ounce water bottle uh, on your belt if you connect it. I do think that's the method that I'm going to go for in the future for water on the field because uh, my old belt is really due for, uh, it's overdue for retirement. What the f is that? The second opinion I wanted to challenge was weight and comfortability. I never really felt like wearing a plate carrier added that much weight as opposed to wearing a chest rig. And even more so, I was comfortable in a plate carrier because a plate carrier was, is what I've worn for many, many years since really I started playing airsoft all those years ago. That was until very recently where I was playing an airsoft game primarily in the woods, a little bit of attack and defend and uh, my team and I had to sneak around through the woods. And what I found was that it was much, much easier to go prone, to crawl under stuff, and to mantle objects that were in the way, like fallen trees or uh, low cover, going through windows especially, um, which you're probably not supposed to do. <laughs> but I was doing anyways, uh, you know, going through a window was super easy. I was able to actually lift my legs up and bend a little bit more. I never really realized how much this big plate carrier that I've been wearing was interfering with my ability to move on the field. And I kind of realized, 
I like that more lightweight loadout. I like being able to move around freely uh, and not have to sacrifice all of the storage that I felt like I was losing uh, if I went over to a chest rig. Usually when I'm out at Installation 42, you'll see that I kind of do like modified shooting drills for quote unquote training or conditioning. You're almost always gonna have an elevated heart rate when you're shooting uh, and moving on the field. So I always, I always try to do that stuff to show off how the gear is actually used. Wearing less gear just helps you save stamina when you're on the field. I will tell you with something like the Mark III, it is so much easier to move around than a fully laden plate carrier like my MOPC. The last thing I got to talk about is cool factor. And this is largely surface level, but I've always felt the plate carriers are so much cooler looking than chest rigs. Just feel cool wearing a plate carrier. I like the uh, ability to customize the plate carrier uh, so that it fits my needs, right? The thing with the Mark III is that even though it's not as quote unquote customizable as a plate carrier, there's enough versatility with what this chest rig offers for you to really lay it out the way that you need to use it. If you do use an SMG, you've got a method for carrying your magazines. If you use a rifle, you've got a method for that. I think there's still enough space there for you to customize it and so that your gear will fit your needs on the field. I really enjoyed the challenge of trying to change up my gear and play style in order to uh, challenge some of my pre-existing notions about, about the gear. Uh, and I really don't see why the Mark III wouldn't fit into my summer loadout, uh, just by virtue of it being lighter and having great storage options. With all that said, I wanna know what does your Airsoft loadout look like? What kind of gameplay style do you like to prioritize? Leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what guns are you using? What gear are you using? Do you wear a chest rig on the field? As always, for all of your Airsoft needs, go and check out Norwest Airsoft. We did actually sell out of all of the custom Fletchers that uh, Mike and I made, which is really awesome. Thank you so much for the support. And to the five of you that bought the limited edition Fletchers, use them well. We've got new Interlink logo stickers. If you want one of these, you can go and check them out on callsignreach.com. Hit the subscribe button to join the Interlink Corporation today. I've been Reach. Stay corporate approved.